has the appearance of an amazing chain of mountains jutting out of the sea. As one looks around these islands, it is impossible to see the transition between the jagged peaks, some of which are over 1,000 meters high, and the branches of the sea which wrap themselves around the mountains. Stretching over 120 kilometers on a north-south axis, the archipelago rises up like a sea wall behind which the Norwegian coast seems protected from ocean squalls. The channels separating the islands were formed in the same manner as the Norwegian fjords. The first island in the Lofoten is Oistfagoi. Inspired by this extraordinary setting, numerous painters have come here to practice their art. The inhabitants of Oistfagoi, as if to better partake of these glorious landscapes, have made it a habit of painting their homes and boats in bright colors. Man first came to the Lofoten almost 1,000 years ago, forming a community at Kabelvag, a fishing village which today boasts an art school. one is instantly struck by the island's great diversity. Influenced by the Gulf Stream, the climate is mild in winter and warmed almost constantly in the summer's midnight sun. But sea winds continuously flay the coastline and only the most hardy species of trees are able to survive. The inhabitants have learned to take precautions against the wind and the roofs of many houses are secured with stones or earth. picturesque villages on the island of Moskenesoi. The history of the Lofotans is closely linked to that of fishing because these waters are teeming with fish. Fishermen come from all over Norway to cast their nets off the shores of the Lofotans. Long ago, fishermen lived three months of the year in huts built on pilings and called Rorbus. Today they've been modernized and are used by tourists. The number of fish in these waters has diminished greatly in the last 50 years. But fishing continues. Each year, some 4,000 fishing boats still ply these waters, netting up to 50,000 metric tons of cod. Schools of cod gather here every year to spawn from January to late April. The success of the catch in the Lofotens affects not only Norway's fishing industry, but the country's entire economy. Meanwhile, at Sorbigen, the Norwegians perpetuate traditional craft. In 
in the south of Moskenesoy is a little village, population 400, with an extremely odd name, O. This is where the road ends, at the southern limit of the Lofoten barrier.